Hello everyone, iOS 18 has just came out in a beta form, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see how it holds up on this particular iPhone. Now first of all, this update, like I mentioned before, is a very very big update. There's lots of cool things that Apple went ahead and added in. And starting off with the outside, well actually starting off with the size of the update, it was about 6 something gigabytes on all my iPhones, so 6.31 gigabytes on this particular iPhone, and basically all my other iPhones across the board, it was around the same size as well. Now, after installing it, it's a pretty crazy one because there's a lot of insane stuff that's been added. So for number one, we now have some home screen improvements. So I don't even know why my screen is dimming. I guess they um, added automatic brightness or automatic, you know, toggle, whatever it is on here. So let me go and turn that off. You can see it's not even on, so I don't even know why my brightness is going crazy. Essentially, we did get a new home screen improvement. So now you can move your particular applications wherever you want to on your home screen. I think most of you probably saw this by now. But that's a really, really cool thing that you basically have. So that's a really cool thing that we have the capability of doing here. We can also go ahead and basically move our widgets around anywhere else that we want to. And we can also go ahead and clicking on the top left, clicking customize, we can change the trans, basically the coloring of our widget too, which is a really cool thing. We can turn our widgets or like apps into light mode or dark mode. It's a really cool thing that Apple kind of threw in here too. They didn't have to, but I'm very, very happy they did. They also gave this to this new passwords application too, which is another really cool thing. So basically see our passwords now within a specific app. Our control center got massive updates as well. So for one, now we have like actual pages within our control center, which is pretty crazy. You can customize these pages, you can delete them as well. And you can actually go through, have a power button up here, and you can click on the plus to actually change up your particular toggles now too, which is another really cool thing. That's something we didn't have before, but now we can customize them right within the control center, which is another really cool thing. We can now also lock our particular applications with Face ID. So now you can hold down on an app and you can actually require Face ID to open up applications. You can also lock them into a hidden folder all the way at the bottom right here, which is another very, very cool thing. iMessages got some really big updates too. So for one, now we support RCS messages. So we can support RCS messages right within this particular application. And we can also go through and have tap bags that are redesigned now so you can reply back with any emoji basically. You can schedule iMessages to send later. You can have a lot more text effects too, which is really cool. We also have game mode inside of our iPhone now too. So if you see a little pop-up when you open up a game, it'll actually make some games to actually perform a little bit faster. Hopefully, that's kind of the goal. And that's another really cool thing that's basically going on here too. So that's another really cool feature. There's been a lot of other improvements inside Apple Maps, the Wallet app, Journal app got some updates, and the Photos app probably got one of the biggest updates it's ever gotten. So now it looks very different than before. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's going to take some time to kind of get used to. But regardless of that, it is a good app, and I'm very happy that they kind of added some improvements here for this particular application. So overall, as I mentioned before, I wouldn't really recommend anyone to install this app or install this update yet. But there's lots of cool improvements, and I'm very, very happy with the way these particular you know updates are kind of going through. So in terms of that, that's kind of how it holds up on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.